Hey guys, um, it's me, and, uh, uh, the last couple videos I made were card videos, um, of cards that people have sent me, which I've been extremely grateful for, uh, for Cindy, Nikki, and Matt, thank you guys so much again, that was, it was really awesome, um, but this video is not a card video, this is more of a, uh, a realization video, I guess, um, I don't want to go too into detail because I really don't want to bore you guys um, and I don't want to come to you guys and be like hey here's my sob story listen to it and feel sorry for me because I don't want people to feel sorry for me the only thing I've wanted this entire time is for um, like a shoulder you know what I mean a crutch I guess I don't I'm not asking like <sighs> I don't want you guys to feel sympathy for me, and I don't want things to be weird, and I don't want to make it seem like it's a cry for help. I just want to tell you guys what's been going on in my life, because obviously you guys watch my videos, and um, just sort of for myself to get this out there. Um, lately it's been kind of a rough time. Um, just some things I don't really want to discuss, but it's basically left me with about 23 cents in my bank account. Um, no gas, no money for food, no money to buy gas, no money to do anything, really. Um, and therefore I can't drive my car or anything like that. Um, it's a really long story. Um, you guys can go out in the comments and tell me how irresponsible I am for not having money, but when you're a full-time student and you only have a job during the summer, things can get pretty rough and pretty hard. Um... I don't really want to go into the whole situation of what brought me here and what's been going on lately because that's more of my personal life, but that's basically where I'm at right now. Um, but besides that, um, I've just sort of been looking to friends um, to rely on to sort of uh, not really take me in, but sort of to be there for me when I need that them the most. And Lately I haven't been really able to find that and it's been kind of frustrating and it's made me realize that when when you need someone the most, they're not there for you. Like there's a very, there's a handful of people that are going to be there for you when you need them. And, sorry it's late, so, um, there's only a handful of people that are going to be there for you and sometimes it's the people that you would least expect. And in this case, I don't want to name names. I don't want to say this person, this person, this person has been there for me because I, I might forget somebody and I might not in include somebody and I don't want feelings to get hurt. But um, if I sent you this video personally, then obviously this, this, this is a thank you to you. And if you stumbled across it and you know that I've talked to you and I've said thank you and I've, you know the situation, then obviously you've helped me in some way. Um... I've had friends that have been, uh, one of my good friends made dinner for me the other night when I couldn't, when I didn't have food. Um, I, I mean, I don't want to say what these people are doing, like, I've, I've just had a lot of help. I've had a lot of help and I've had a lot of people coming into my life and helping me when I need the most. But what I've noticed, what, like, I'm totally grateful for all that, but the part that, that bothers me is that people who I thought were truly going to be there for me aren't. People who I've completely opened up to and told them my situation and what's going on and they haven't reached out to me and said, how can I help? And I don't, I don't want to seem selfish in a situation like this and I don't want to, I don't want to come off as the person that thinks that they need something, but it, it hurts, you know, because these people that, I'm the type of person that when um, when I have money, or when I am able to drive, or when I, if I can do anything for you, I'm going to do it. If I need, if you need a ride somewhere, I'm going to take you there. Um, if you need food, if you can't afford food, I'm going to help pay for it. Like, I'm, I'm that type of person, and that, I just always assume that me being that type of person will always get that in return from my friends, and I found out today especially that that's not the case, and it's kind of frustrating. And I know that some people are going to watch this and be like, hey, well, I offered this. Well, sometimes it, I don't want to go into it. It's, it's a lot. It's, I don't know. It's just really hard. 
and that I just sort of, it's been a realization of who, like, someone I haven't talked to in the longest time, a friend that is there for me whenever I need him, step, like, stepped up and, like, lent out a helping hand, like, an extremely generous helping hand, and I can't thank him enough for it, like, I'm eternally grateful for it, and it's... I realize that I'm 20 years old. I realize that I'm an adult, but we all make mistakes and we all get put into these into these rough patches. And I know that lots of us get put through these rough patches at the same time in our lives and I know that it's hard to help, but anything helps. Like you don't have to help me at all. You could sit here and listen to me rant for hours and that would be that would give you a, immense thanks just for that in itself. Um but yeah, like I, it's just been a hard couple of days realizing who my true friends are that are there for me when I need them the most, and which friends disappear when they find out that I don't have money. Um, and that's basically essentially what it's come down to. It's like when I'm around and I have money, apparently I'm I'm a fantastic person to be around. But when I don't have money, no one wants to be around. No one wants to help, even though I'm the friend that's always been there. Oh, spending money on others, and I'm not asking, like, I'm not asking people to spend money on me, that's the last thing I'm asking for, but what I'm asking for is, like, if, uh, for example, today, my friend and I were supposed to go to the zoo, and she was like, do you want to meet me at my house, and I said, honestly, I can't, I was like, if there's a way that she could pick me up, and she had no problem with picking me up, and that was fantastic, and it's like, it's simple things like that, like, if you want to hang out, and I'm the one that's always driving, but I'm through a situation that I can't, like, why can't you come pick me up? Especially when you're the one trying to hang out with me. And it's like, I don't want to put make my misfortune be the reason that we're not hanging out. And then it's my fault and it's my bad. And it, that just puts me at a lower point in my life than I already am in a time where I'm struggling already. Um, I realize I've sort of ranted a lot in this video. I just wanted to sort of let you guys know what's going on and let you guys know. Um... The realization that I've come to and it's kind of an unfortunate realization and because of that I don't know how many videos I'm going to be making lately. I am, I spent a lot of time just with myself trying to figure things out and talking to people and trying to figure my situation out. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm not making videos as often as I, as I want to be. Uh, for the new year I said I would be making more videos and I obviously haven't and I've been wanting to make a new year's video and I haven't and it's just it's been a lot going on, so I, I, obviously this video is about to be 8 minutes and I didn't want, want it to go this long, but I love you guys very much and I hope you guys understand what's going on. Um, uh, I hope that everything is going well for you guys. I hope that if you're going through a time like I'm going through that I wish you guys the best of luck and feel free to come to me and talk to me because even though I have friends, friends that aren't going to sit here and listen to me, I'm still going to, I'll lend out an ear and listen to you. So, if you guys need anything, of course, I'm always a text, a tweet, a message away. So, I hope you guys are all doing fantastic, and thanks for listening to me blab on for eight minutes. I love you guys very much. Bye.